This measure allows the prison commissioner to respond with promptitude. One o'clock in the morning if necessary. An immediate solution to a deadly problem. This is how National Security Minister Fitzgerald Hines describes the Firearms Amendment Bill 2022. Hines says in the last decade, 16 prison officers were killed and in the last year, 88 have been threatened. Clause 8 of this bill will introduce Section 8A, which seeks to empower the Commissioner <coughs> of Prisons to grant a prison officer the permission to have in his possession a firearm or ammunition outside of the prison environment while off duty in circumstances where the Commissioner of Prisons can considers that his life is under threat. Hines says other amendments to the bill include the introduction of a firearm user's ID card, permission for municipal police officers to carry non-lethal devices, and the allowance for him, as the National Security Minister, to extend FULs beyond their prescribed three-year lifespan. However, opposition Senator Jayanti Lachmidial labels the last change as direct political interference in the FUL process. She says the process should remain in the control of the police commissioner. Lachmidial also says giving prison officers guns will not solve the problem. What of the average citizen who is also under threat? What about the... Um, all the other persons who work in the criminal justice system who are under threat, are we going to simply arm everybody? That is not the solution. This is a measure simply put in place because they were doing something before that was deemed to be illegal. Independent Senator Paul Richards agrees that the minister's involvement in the renewal process is a huge red flag. He also has some questions about the proposed amendments. But what is preventing the commissioner of prison from making a recommendation to an officer under threat to the commissioner of police to fast track this because this person's life is in danger? Because the commissioner of police does it for ordinary citizens. Richard says consideration should be given to imposing penalties for negligent use of state-issued firearms. Charlene Rampasad, CNC3 News.